Now that we understand how we have to treat long circuits, such as the power supply to a water pump that is in a lake, which is a fair distance from our cottage. In this video, we're going to have a look at the actual theory that governs the current and voltages in that circuit. To be more specific, we're going to look at voltage drop. In order to understand voltage drop, let's consider the simple circuit in this diagram. A voltage source of 110 volts AC is connected to a load resistor of 11 ohms. According to Ohm's law, the current that will be drawn by the load will be equal to the voltage divided by the resistance, which in this case will be 10 amps. Looking at the same components, but this time with two 11 ohm resistors in series, we still have a voltage supply of 110 volts AC, and Ohm's law tells us that the current will be 5 amps, and the voltage drop across each resistor will be 5 amps multiplied by 11 ohms for 55 volts. Let's add 8 more resistors and redraw the circuit to look like this. The current in a circuit will now be a function of the source voltage, divided by all of the resistance, which is made up of 10 11 ohm resistors. Using Ohm's law to obtain a current in a circuit, we use the supply voltage, divided by the total resistance, and substituting actual values, we get 110 volts, divided by 110 ohms, or 1 amp. We can easily calculate the voltage drop across each resistor now by multiplying the current times the individual resistance of 11 ohms, which works out to 11 volts. Now, let's add a load of 10 ohms to the circuit. The total load now becomes the 10 resistors plus the 10 ohms of the load. The current in the circuit is now given by 110 volts divided by 110 ohms plus the load of 10 ohms, which equals 0.92 amps. This time we are interested in the voltage drop across the 10 ohms load, which is given by the current multiplied by the 10 ohm load, which equals 9.2 volts. Stay tuned to this site. The next nugget that I release will give you more realistic examples based on the theory and formulas behind what is happening with voltage drop on long circuits. In the meantime, as a bonus, and in the way of a thank you for your continued interest, I'm making available my 50-page electrical power crib sheets if you haven't already taken advantage of downloading them. These were prepared for use with my courses. There is one section associated with each course and are extremely valuable, while viewing the course as well as a recall of the pertinent formulas and information after the fact. The contained information is also useful during any technical career as a quick reference from time to time. Simply fill out the information requested when you go to this website. https colon forward slash forward slash lowercase bit dot ly forward slash four seven uppercase y uppercase b three lowercase v and lastly lowercase h. As I said in the beginning, stay tuned for future releases on this site that will provide you with more tantalizing nuggets of what is available in my courses. In my next video, we will look at connecting an actual water pump. You can also directly access my stand store at this web address.